That looks like a dinosaur egg. Why are you eating a dinosaur egg? What the hell is a dinosaur egg? Come here to find out at Over Easy Breakfast Club. It's unbelievable. We're very serious about our eggs. It's a green like a, a dinosaur, but it is not a dinosaur egg, I promise. The look on their face, they truly were asking if it was a dinosaur egg. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? I would have to say the egg. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eric Osman. I'm the chef owner of uh, Over Easy Breakfast Club in Philadelphia. With brunch here in Philly, I found it's kind of become more of a, like a dinner scene. I think brunch is now really celebrated and fun for a lot of people. We chose an egg for the design, so there was no question that we were brunch. I graduated culinary school, and then after that, I was able to cook my way through California. Cooked in LA, cooked in Napa Valley at the French Laundry. Spent almost two years in Europe cooking through the United Kingdom, working with some great chefs over there. I've been very fortunate. The restaurants that I've worked at are some of the best in the world. Here at the Overeasy, I try to really incorporate my fine dining training with just your good old-fashioned brunch food. The recipes are really old from my side of the family, both sides, my father's side and my mother's side. They are tried and true recipes that don't need anything fancy. We have this really fun dish that we call a dinosaur egg. That's a whole avocado that we split in half, we stuff it with a poached egg, we put it back together and wrap it in bacon. It was basically a dish that came up with for my wife. And then our son saw it and he named it. So the name comes from our four-year-old son. Unfortunately, the dinosaur egg is not from a dinosaur. We have had people ask if it was a real dinosaur egg. If they were kidding or not, I don't know, but I hope so. So we have whole avocados and I have pre-poached two eggs here. Just poach them till they're just barely done, just enough so you can handle them. You're gonna take your avocado, split it right in half. The easiest way to get the pit out, take your knife, give it a little and a twist. And they come right out. You lay out three pieces of bacon. And you want them kind of just overlapped a little bit because the bacon actually is gonna cook itself together. Remove the avocado from the peel and then lay it about three inches back from the end of the bacon. Then you take your pre-poached egg, drop them in that little cubby you made, then you encase the egg, and then you're just essentially lightly rolling. See, that's where you're gonna wanna put down because you're gonna wanna seal that bacon together so it doesn't unravel. So you're gonna put that seam right into the hot grease like that. This is one of my favorite pickups in the restaurant because we get so busy. After the prep is done with it, it's done. You want it on medium heat. You can see here we have some really nice color. So now that's when you want to turn it. Prop it on the side here to get to the end of it. We serve it on a bed of local organic uh, arugula. We almost make a nest for the egg to sit in with the arugula. You're not going to cook that egg all the way through. You're going to still have a nice runny yolk in the middle if everything comes out the way it should. This is it. 